First stop on our itinerary, the military exhibit. You know, it's one thing to celebrate the men and women who make up the armed forces, but quite another to see the examples of equipment they use. The exhibit will definitely make you appreciate how highly skilled the armed forces are, especially when they are out in the field. Ivy Day takes us on a tour. Ivy? That's right, Ben. And one of the machines that Marines use out in the field is the 68-ton tank. Corporal Teas is here to tell us more. Uh, this weapon right here is the M250 cal. It fires a 50 caliber projectile around. It has a range of about 1,800 meters. 1,800 meters. This tank definitely packs a punch. Marines train for three months before mounting one of these. Another vehicle soldiers use in combat is the Hercules Recovery Vehicle. Weighing 72 tons, it can hoist half its weight. Marines call it the AAA for damaged tanks. If it's uh, under fire, we'll get out really quick, attach some tow cables or tow bars, and tow the sucker out of there so we can get the heck out and then fix it in the rear or behind cover. While most Humvees don't look like this, the one on display at the exhibit has many of the same features as real combat Humvees. It can carry several missiles and is fully functional on land and water. At the exhibit, kids also got to see a mock hospital. They learned that soldiers have other duties besides combat. We're not over there killing. We are fixing soldiers as well. So I think that's what we're here for. One local resident says the day was a good opportunity to honor our troops. We're just happy to be here, um, try to sh show some support for, you know, all the Army and Marines and Navy that are out here for everything that they do for us. So it's fun to be out here and try to show some support. Hundreds of Torrance families also got to see helicopters, do face painting, and test their own physical strength. The annual exhibit is always a thrill for local kids, says one Torrance mom. We come out here every year and we uh, like to support the troops and we go to the parade and the kids love to come and climb on the tanks and get in the helicopters and just visit everyone and get their face painted and it's just a fun day. Many of the men and women in uniform at the event fought in Iraq and have volunteered to go back. That's when they'll put their training into use. Reporting for This Week in Torrance, I'm Ivy Day. Thanks, Ivy. And what's a celebration without music? The United States Air Force Band of the Gold